what is good everybody welcome back to another episode brought to you by the league ffb it is a short week we've already done our wide receiver version of this episode but today we're doing our top 36 running backs as we head into the thanksgiving day games and the friday game the sunday slate all of these days of football i got you covered with my top 36 running backs so without wasting any more time let's hop right into today's video and let's start talking about these lists All right, so as you can see, I got the tier maker pulled up on the screen. I got seven tiers to get through all 36 running backs in today's video. So we are going to be kicking it off in my tier one. That is the elite RB ones here for week 13. I got three running backs in this tier coming in at number one, Saquon Barkley, number two, Joe Mixon, and number three, Jameer Gibbs. I think Saquon Barkley, Joe Mixon, Jameer Gibbs, these kind of go without question. These are must start players, obviously. Uh, Joe Mixon, he does have a matchup that I want to talk about a little bit, though. This is a good matchup on paper right now, Jack. Jacksonville is giving up 4.6 fantasy points above the expectation and they're currently ranked 31st in points allowed at 26.6 fantasy points per game so this should be a very good matchup for Joe Mixon on paper and I expect him to capitalize here this week after a down week there in week 12. Now let's move on to my tier two. My tier two has four running backs and these are the high-end RB1s here for this week. I got number four it's going to be Alvin Kamara, five B. John Robinson, six Derrick Henry, and seven Devon Achan. Now there's two matchups that I want to talk about they're actually bad matchups on paper Bijan Robinson has one of these matchups against the Los Angeles Chargers. Right now, when you look at the Chargers, they're giving up three points below the expectation right now, and they're currently ranked fifth in fantasy points allowed at 16.3 fantasy points per game. So they're not giving up a ton of points. They're allowing points below the expectation right now. So it's not necessarily the best matchup for Bijan Robinson. However, he is an elite RB1, so we are still going to be playing him in our fantasy football leagues. Just move him down to the high-end RB1 tier. Now, the other bad matchup is Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry, he gets the Philadelphia Eagles. Right now, they're allowing four points below the expectation expectation and currently ranked fourth in points allowed so this is another bad matchup for Derrick Henry obviously he is still an elite running back as well so you're still going to play him move him down to the high-end RB1 category and still expect him to get into the end zone like he's been doing pretty much every single week all year long for the Baltimore Ravens now that'll take me to my tier three tier three is those low-end RB1s I got a total of five running backs in this tier to round this one out you got eight Christian McCaffrey nine Kyron Williams 10 Josh Jacobs 11 Chase Brown and 12 James cook of the buffalo bills now there are some good matchups to target in this tier christian mccaffrey has one of those he gets to play on the road at the buffalo bills and although the buffalo bills are a good football team they've been bad against the running back position so far this year allowing 4.2 fantasy points above the expectation and currently ranked 30th in fantasy points allowed to running backs allowing 25.3 fantasy points per game it's still going to be in consideration whether or not it's going to be brandon allen at qb or whether it's going to be brock purdy obviously brock purdy is going to raise the ceiling of christian mccaffrey and if that is the case i think Christian McCaffrey is going to move up into that high-end RB1 tier, so we'll keep an eye out for that as we get some more information. But the other good matchup is Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams, he plays on the road at the New Orleans Saints. Right now, they're allowing four points above the expectation. They're currently ranked 28th in fantasy points allowed, so they're giving up about 24.3 fantasy points per game to those running backs. Kyron Williams, he's a threat in the red zone. He's also just a damn good running back. He's getting a ton of usage, so even though some people have been down over Kyron Williams over the last couple of weeks, and yes, the numbers have been down for Kyron Williams over the last couple of weeks, he's still a top 12 play for me and a running back one that I'm just plugging into my lineup. Now let's move on to tier four. Tier four is those safe running back two plays, guys that I'm more than comfortable playing as my RB2. I got seven guys in this tier, so kind of a larger tier. We'll start it off at 13, Jonathan Taylor, 14, Brees Hall, 15, Bucky Irving, 16, Kenneth Walker, 17, David Montgomery, and last but not least, 18, Chuba Hubbard. And actually, I lied. There's one more, 19, Aaron Jones as well. So that is the entire tier for you. There's a couple things to talk about. The first one being at number 14, Brees Hall. We got a news break today that they did say Brees Hall is questionable with a knee injury going into this matchup. That is obviously very fresh news. I don't really know what that means coming into the weekend right now. We're going to get more updates over that, but there is a chance that Brees Hall, if this injury is somewhat serious, misses this game. And if he misses this game, Braylon Allen would be the starting running back. So we're going to keep an eye on Brees Hall. He's questionable with a knee injury as we speak, but a lot of information still needed before we make any drastic decisions. So make sure you're tapped into the discord. That way, when more news breaks, you you guys get that information from me immediately in the discord and you can ask me those questions but i want to talk about bucky irving as well because bucky irving is a top 15 running back for me in my rankings this week he plays on the road at the carolina panthers and the carolina panthers are a smash matchup for bucky irving currently allowing 8.6 fantasy points above the expectation this year dead last against running backs allowing 28.2 fantasy points per game that's 32nd in the nfl man this is a smash matchup for bucky irving and he looked damn good last week i think he's going to be a top 15 play for us here in our rankings 
this week. And the other guy that I want to talk about with an injury is David Montgomery. He's questionable with a shoulder injury. He plays tomorrow on Thanksgiving. That is going to be the 1230 game. If you're on the East Coast, I guess, if you're on the West Coast, whatever it may be, it's going to be whatever that is. Now, he does have that questionable tag. He is most likely going to play. At least that's the vibe that I'm getting right now from Dan Campbell. If he plays, maybe he gets a little bit less touches. They go to Jameer Gibbs just because they're trying to preserve that shoulder. But obviously, they don't want to risk further injury for David Montgomery. This is a team that's going to be playing deep into the playoffs. David Montgomery is a big part of this offense. We'll see what happens. But for me, he's a safe running back too if he's on the field, even if he gets a little bit of less touches because of the injury. Now I'm going to go into my tier five. My tier five is those fringe running back twos, guys that are kind of on the cusp of running back two production or maybe high end running back three production. I got seven guys in this tier going from running back 20 to 26. We're going to kick it off with James Conner. 21 is Tony Pollard. 22, Rico Dowdle. 23, Tyrone Tracy Jr. 24, Najee Harris. 25, Kareem Hunt. 26, Ramondre Stevenson. That is the entire tier. Some things to talk about, good matchups, bad matchups, and injuries. We got a bad matchup for James Conner. He is the top of this tier. I was considering him for the safe running back twos because we have that bad matchup though. I did move him down to tier five at the top of that. He gets Minnesota. Minnesota has been very vulnerable against wide receivers. They're very good against the running back position. This is in Minneapolis as well. So right now they're allowing negative 5.2 fantasy points below the expectation. That's not a great number for opposing running backs. You also have Minnesota as being ranked third in fantasy points allowed to those running backs. So only giving up about 15 per game to those running backs should be a little bit of a tougher matchup for James Conner and because of that he goes into that fringe RB2 territory instead of the safe running back 2 territory where I wanted him to be. Now coming in at 22 we got another matchup to talk about that is the Rico Dowdle. Rico Dowdle he gets a good matchup against the New York Giants. This is on Thanksgiving Day. You do have that three points allowed above the expectation by New York. Currently ranked 27th in fantasy points against with 23.8 fantasy points per game allowed to those running backs. So Rico Dowdle even though we don't have Dak Prescott under center it's probably Cooper Rush. It's going to be a little bit of a different offense he's still going to get some check downs he's still going to get some work it's still a lighter matchup probably a fringe running back to play for us upgraded from that low upside rb3 where i think we had him there last week and then last but not least i want to talk about kareem hunt because he is probable with a toe injury in this one they do play on black friday so this is a friday game i expect hunt to play he was probable with the toe last week he did come in and play he didn't look great no isaiah pacheco in that matchup last week he is probably going to be back into this one this week i i'm saying that with a very big question mark I guess I should probably say he's questionable to be back into the matchup this week. If he is, that's going to hurt Hunt's upside, obviously, because they're most likely going to be splitting touches. But I just wanted to bring up that toe injury for Kareem Hunt against the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, tier six, we're going to talk about those low upside RB3s. I got five running backs in this tier. We're going to talk about Gus Edwards at 27, 28, Rashad White, 29, DeAndre Swift, 30, Nick Chubb, and 31, Jeremy McNichols for the Washington Commanders. So let's talk about Rashad White. Rashad White, he plays the Carolina Panthers. I talked about that matchup with Bucky Irving. Rashad White should have some good usage in this matchup as well. The matchup is very good. He should profile as a low upside RB3, which may be even some touchdown upside in this matchup as well. DeAndre Swift, he has a bad matchup against Detroit on Thanksgiving Day. They are allowing negative 5.1 fantasy points below the expectation. Second in the NFL in points allowed, only 14.7 fantasy points per game to the running back. DeAndre Swift's also getting goal line carries stolen by Roshan Johnson. Not ideal for DeAndre Swift right now. I think he has low upside RB3 potential here in this week's matchup against a very good Detroit defense and then let's talk about the two injuries Gus Edwards he is in this tier because he is most likely the starting running back this week JK Dobbins expected to miss a few weeks with the sprained MCL Gus Edwards not a lot of pass catching upside not a lot of PPR appeal but he should have some carries and he should have some goal line opportunities Gus Edwards comes in at 27 and Jeremy McNichols Austin Eckler almost guaranteed to be out even Brian Robinson Jr. questionable going into this week. I'm not going to have Brian Robinson in this list today because we still need more information, but Jeremy McNichols at minimum should have the Austin Eckler role. If Brian Robinson is out as well this week, McNichols is going to move up in my rankings, probably into the fringe RB2 territory right behind Ramondre Stevenson, just based off of the usage and the PPR appeal alone. And now last but not least, let's move on to my tier seven. Tier seven is just flex plays. I do have five guys in this tier. It's going to be Isaiah Pacheco, Jalen Warren, Javante Williams, Travis Etienne, and Braylon Allen. We're going to put him in there just to talk about it. Isaiah Pacheco, he's questionable with the ankle injury. Like I said, if he plays, probably doesn't have a ton of upside. Maybe get some goal line carries in this one, but I 
don't expect him to get a full workload if he's on the football field probably going to be splitting touches with Kareem Hunt for at least a couple weeks while they ramp him back up to game speed Jalen Warren's been all right we're going to be able to keep plugging him in as a flex play if he gets into the end zone you're going to like what he gives you that week if he doesn't probably not going to be the highest of ceilings and then Braylon Allen is the only other guy that I want to talk about if Brees Hall cannot go this week if Brees Hall's injury is serious and he cannot play I expect Braylon Allen to jump up my tiers quite a bit he would at minimum move into that fringe RB2 tier but there's a chance that he could go into the safe RB2 tier maybe around that Chuba Hubbard Aaron Jones type of range he is a very talented running back he just hasn't had the full workload obviously when you have Brees Hall in the backfield that is the case most of the time but Braylon Allen if he gets a full workload in this offense in a matchup against Seattle he should have a very decent fantasy football week and he would be a must start for me almost if Brees Hall does not play in this matchup so I just wanted to bring him up at 36 obviously if Brees doesn't play he's going to be skyrocketing up those rankings and I will say if Brees does play Braylon Allen drops out of the top 36 we're not going to be playing him if Brees Hall is on the football field so there you have it folks that is my top 36 running backs as we head into week 13 of the fantasy football season like I said we dropped the wide receiver version of this episode earlier today so if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you're subscribed that way you never miss that type of content ever again and go watch that video if you like today's video you found something informative actionable entertaining any of those three things make sure you hit the like button it is the best free way to show this channel some support and make sure you are a member of the discord we do have a free discord linked in the description i'm going to be in there helping you guys with your fantasy football teams throughout the weekend despite you know the holiday and some of the other stuff i'm in there to help you guys win your matchups this week and hopefully win some championships this year so like i said it's free to join there is no risk in doing that so make sure you go down in the description and click join on that free discord but with all that being said folks i have nothing else for you today so i will see you on our next episode but until then Peace out.